Hi Quentin, it's Sarah. I'm sorry I didn't get to say bye to you before I left for Alaska, but I thought I would give you a quick video of what I'm doing here. I miss you so much, and I want to show you everything that I've seen here. So first of all, behind me is where I live. I live in this bunkhouse. It, um, pretty much like a dorm room. It's really, really nice. But the best part about it is the view I get from the front. So I'm going to turn it around. This is my front yard. It's called Herring Cove. We see eagles here all the time. This is where the salmon is going to run into the estuary. I think I've seen at one point about 40 eagles in one spot right there. So I went on the walking tour a little bit just because I wanted to show you a few things. The first video is about our bird sanctuary. Alaska Canopy Adventures, which is the company I'm with, has a bird sanctuary where they take in injured wild animals and then they set them free once they're healed. However, there are two birds that they always keep in captivity. There's a bald eagle and an owl, and they are not uh, fit to be released to the wild. So they always hang out with us, and I thought I'd take a little video of them for you. Welcome to Alaska Wildlife Foundation. We are a nonprofit organization that does rescue, release, and education. We have our bald eagle and our great horned owl. Neither of these birds are able to be re-released in the wild back due to an injury. So we will give them a permanent home here and use them in our educational program. Bald eagles can live up to 50 years in captivity and great horned owls can live up to 30 years. Bald eagles have binocular vision. They can see about eight times better than we can. They can see up to two miles away and in color. They have walking talons, which help them hold on to their prey, and their main diet is fish, but they also eat waterfowl, small mammals, rodents, and carrion. The next clip is a clip of Wayne. He is a man that works for Alaska Canopy and will work for Alaska Canopy for the rest of his life. He is employed to um, build totem poles. He carves them every day and on the ground tour all of our guests come in and see what he's doing and, and the authentic techniques and tools that he uses. Um, right now he's doing a really nice totem pole. He was going to make a canoe this year, but uh, the wood that he had was not good to make a canoe. So uh, here's just a little tidbit to see what Wayne is doing and what it looks like to uh, make a totem pole. Last but not least, I wanted to make a little video of all the beautiful scenery I've seen around this area. So it's a little montage. Um, I'll also put pictures on this file um, just so that you can see some of the other things I've been doing. Unfortunately, I couldn't get you a video of us actually ziplining. It's been my day off. But uh, hopefully the pictures will suffice. Anyways, uh, enjoy the video, and I just want to say that I love you, I miss you, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Quentin. Coming my way to North Carolina, staring up the road and pray to God I see headlights. I made it down the coast in 17 hours, picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers, and I'm hoping for Riley I can see my baby tonight. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Like the wind and the rain Rock me, mama, like a 
southbound train 